It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Jets and the New England Patriots on Sunday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And we are underway in Foxborough. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now the Patriots getting sent to take over on offense. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A game there of 30 big ones. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Add the game here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. 
Instead, it's fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. Sly able to put this one through, and the Patriots jump out to a 3 nothing lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by the former Cal Bear, Aaron Rodgers. There have been very few quarterbacks in the NFL who have been as consistent throughout their career as Aaron Rodgers. He's been good for so long, and we've seen no decline in his skills. His accuracy and arm strength continue to elevate the talent around him, and his in-game mistakes, few and far between. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and ten. At their own 21. Now Hall to start the drive until about the 23. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. In motion right is Wilson. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also a walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. And Lazard's got it again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. And it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. And again, it's Rodgers. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, 
stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Rodgers going to throw. And he's going to go down again. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. On third and long, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. There he goes left side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. Their partner, I have to say, they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school. And one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. The throw down the field caught by his running back. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we get my cut. Oh, he just stuck out there. And he's got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. They'll set up to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, <laughs> but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> 
that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 20-yard line. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 51 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. From the two now, second and goal. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keep your defense off the field. Mm -hmm. Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, uh -oh. you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Throwing is Rodgers. He's got it to Williams. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 34-yard line, here's a second down and nine. Now it's Rodgers. This one finds Wilson downfield. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 46 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Paul ought to give up the middle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? 
the nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Jets have taken the lead. And, partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And, Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculate it because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. Room here to run. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. 74 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle by Quincy Williams. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Back to throw now on second and ten. He finds Douglas complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun now on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll look to throw. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Back to throw again. Got Stevenson again. Back-to-back -back plays. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit. You get the running. Touchdown! 
Juju Smith-Schuster from 21 yards away. And the Pats are once again back in front. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Joey Sly on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. But once again, here comes Garrett Wilson in the Jets' offense. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Rodgers. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Straight ahead is home. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Patriots take over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Oh, 
On the counter, it's Stevenson. 80 yards rushing for him now to this point. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Rodgers now on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Here's Rodgers to throw. It's Williams on the catch. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. On first down, Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And all these shots and tackle. Now he's got some space. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Running left, it's home. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. 45 yards for Brees Hall, and the Jets are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that, and, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. 
but there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Zerline now for the PAT. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Marcus Jones, a return man. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. This one across the 35. 96 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? From the 41, here's a second and eight. They'll drop to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And an official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. A give to Gibson running right. Shoves him aside. And now pass to Miller. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate. But a nice carry. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Bourne going to go in motion right here. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That is incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. 
You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. It must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it. An eyelash dropped at the run. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn upfield and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. Stevenson diving for the end zone and he is in. Touchdown. Sometimes offense if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here and we get a seal here and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. They'll look to throw. And he will find the end zone here, and the lead moves up to seven. And the formula there on the two-point try to go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there for the defense. What you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The offense for the Jets, ready to take over. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll come up facing third and five. Here's Rodgers. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Rodgers to throw once more. His throw incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. Now Rodgers. Been taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. 
Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing is Rodgers. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 40. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Now Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got this to Williams complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go long and hope <laughs> someone would come free. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Jets have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. Yeah, it's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle complete. It's Henry. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Yeah. <laughs> 
One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he will have the Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Stevenson now on first and 10. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and eight. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And it is caught. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot, so what can they do to get closer now on third down? Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Sly able to put this one through, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? to the made field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. Runs over him, shouting through the defense. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 
The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hall again. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 43. A gain there of 21 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Run. Oh, no, he lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. On second down, a run with Hall. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. New England's offense set to go. A little less than four minutes remaining. And the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They run once more with Stevenson. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll look to throw here. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And that should do it. He's got a first down, and the Patriots can run it out from here. Take a knee. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. On the return is Gibson. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon.